Hi, I'm David Duloc and this is Ask a Developer. Today's question comes from Marcus and he wants to know, what's new in iOS 8 for web? Well, this year's WWDC has been huge for developers with things like Swift, HealthKit, HomeKit, and extensions. But what has changed that will affect web developers? In the past, Desktop Safari, iOS Safari, and in-app web views were very similar but very different. Thanks to XPC, Apple brought Desktop Safari to iOS and to the internal apps with WK WebView. So what does this mean for mobile web? Well, it means that iOS can now make use of JavaScript's FTL just-in-time compiler, which gives us huge performance gains, and also means that we can now run WebGL on Safari across the board. That's awesome, but that's not all. Have you ever implemented fake scrolling with something like iScroll? Well, say goodbye to iScroll because we now have real-time on-scroll events with momentum and physics. Now all the scrolling-based interactions that mobile web has struggled with for some time will now be just as simple as they are on desktop. Things like pull to refresh, parallaxing animations, and infinite scrolling will be much more simple and much more performant. There's also a new way to communicate with native iOS with post message. This is a much cleaner way to talk to native without having to capture and parse Ajax requests. Have an e-commerce site? Well, you will love the new iOS feature that autofills credit card information with your camera. Now when you are presented with a credit card field in a web page, the iOS keyboard will have a new button named Scan Credit Card. Simply frame your credit card in the presented square and you're done. As you can see, there are huge improvements in performance and a lot of great new features that will be revolutionary for mobile web. Christmas is over and now it's time to play with all the new toys. That's it for this Ask a Developer. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.